Hey OT students, this is Brenna here uh, from Shenandoah University in Winchester, Virginia, and I really wanted to make a video about advice for incoming OT students and things that I wish I had known and realized before starting OT school. So first and foremost, I wanted to talk about embracing the imposter effect, okay? That is something I really, really felt and really struggled with. You know, I had worked so hard to get to OT school, but then when I was finally here, I kind of felt like I was just treading in the deep end, barely keeping my head above water. That's a very, very real feeling that I know a lot of people feel when they first get to OT school, but um, instead of it seeming scary, I think it's important to try and embrace it, right? You're not going to learn all the information you want to or you expect to, and you're not going to learn it all overnight. I mean, it's just not going to happen. There's so many things that we learn when we're in the moment experiencing things out of the classroom. That's something to embrace and to realize it's part of the process of learning. Um, and I just think that kind of getting that out of your head sooner than later is going to make you more confident. I mean, I think that really took down my confidence in, you know, my understanding of who I was as a future OT. And you know, just embrace the process. You're not going to learn everything that you expect to overnight, and that's okay, and you're not supposed to. <laughs> and, you know, there will be the challenges in OT school, and that's just what's supposed to happen. Um, you know, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it, but it's not easy, and that's part of the process. And, you know, just welcome that. Welcome all the bumps along the way. I mean, I've definitely had times where I felt confident. I felt like, okay, I see where this is going. I see myself as an OT. And then there's other times where I just feel like totally lost, right? It's like, what am I learning? How am I ever going to apply this? Will I be able to help my clients in the future? And so try to just get that negativity out of your head and replace it with, I might be struggling now, but I'm struggling to learn more for the future so I can help my clients be the best that they can be. Um, another piece of advice, you know, it's kind of cliche, but stay organized. It's real. Um, I think one thing OT school will definitely do to you is challenge you, and it challenges you in many ways. And one of the ways that it does is your ability to multitask. I mean, that's a real thing that we're going to have to know when we get it out into the clinic and into the field. And if you can't multitask, you're going to struggle. So you know, recognizing that you are going to need to multitask, you're going to need to stay organized and stay on top of it, you know, realize that sooner than later. Um, and, you know, get yourself a planner, figure out the ways that you study best, you know, find a study group that works well for you and really embrace it. Another piece of advice I have is, you know, just step out of your comfort zone. I think, you know, trying to step out of your comfort zone and find new ways to be a leader is really, really important. Um, that's one thing that I've definitely benefited from in OT school. And um, I've had a lot of personal growth, growth, you know, not just um, professional growth. And one of the reasons why I think is because I've really tried to push myself and get myself out of that comfort zone. Um, another piece of advice, um, I find piece of advice here is to realize that it depends okay a lot of your learning in OT school will be it depends that's something I was not prepared for my kind of learning when I first came into OT school is it was either X or it was Y there's no in between right but I soon learned that much of OT school OT practice your clinical reasoning, everything is in this in-between area, and it really depends. You're going to have to start thinking in shades of gray, um, no pun intended, and um, <laughs> just kind of, you know, embrace that and know that you're working on becoming more of a global, more of a holistic thinker, um, and this is going to directly benefit your clinical reasoning and benefit the treatment that you'll be giving to clients. Um, but other than that, you know, just embrace the process, as I've said a couple of times. There will be its challenges to OT school, without a doubt, but all of those challenges, just recognize that they're giving you another layer onto your skills. Every challenge you have, just meet it with grace, meet it with strength, and work to get above it. But other than that, um, you know, enjoy the journey. You're going to learn so, so much. You're going to be pushed. And you're also just going to see the beauty of occupational therapy and all the things that it can do for others. And, you know, just know that one day that person is going to be you and you're going to be the one making a difference in other people's lives. Thank you.